Hey guys, this is CSA number six. Six, okay, I gotta stick that in my head because I keep messing up the numbers in my videos. Anyway, here comes Apollo. He loves, I don't know, he loves messing with my greens. This is a vegetarian cat, watch. Crazy, crazy, eating my Swiss chard. So we're gonna start with that, Swiss chard. I had a lot of Swiss shards so far since the spring started and the whole CSA started. And that's Celine. Like I said, they're the gods and goddesses. Um, then we also got some, uh, this is celery. I wish you could smell it. Um, at first I thought it was parsley, but this is a very thin celery. So I have juiced it before, but I am going to chop it up um, cause what is it, carrots, celery, and onions are the holy trinity for some dishes, and I'm gonna try to make something. So that's good to have. And then, let's see, this is basil. So you got the purple and the green basil, smells so good. And then this is a bag, this is interesting. Let me try to get this for you. So this is a bag of, ready? Sweet potato greens. I had no idea you can eat them. Um, this is the first time I've ever come across it anywhere. Sweet potato greens tend to grow on a vine and are beautiful as far as decoration for your plants. Um, they are a beautiful, beautiful foliage. In fact, let me show you. Oh my God, these cats, I swear to God. Um, so here out on my deck, that hanging plant right there is a sweet potato plant. So if I were to dig up that dirt, there's gonna be piece, there's gonna be sweet potatoes in there, but their foliage and their greenery, actually for sweet potatoes, it's purple, are gorgeous. I did not know you can actually eat the greens from a um, sweet potato. And I believe from the potato, they grow the same way, but they are green whereas these have more of a purplish hue. Uh, I believe the potatoes are a light green, like lime green. Look at this one, this is Athena eating my... Has anyone's cats ever eaten greens? Oh my God, anyway, so they said the texture of this when you cook it up is creamy. And I did eat it raw. You could, it does have a creamy texture to it. I guess you could throw it in salad, but they said you could just saute it up. So that should be interesting. Got another container of the Atomic Green Fruity Tomatoes. Got a container of yellow tomatoes. The Sprout of the Week is Clover. And this time, a little extra extra was a little jar of honey. So excited about that. I got some more okra. And then I got some peppers, cucumbers, a zucchini squash. I mean, you. I had my choice of yellow and weird colors, but I chose the green one. Got some, these are shallots, and I got an eggplant and a little watermelon. So not a huge haul, but it is a heavy haul. That side of the table is very heavy. Um, but I hope, I hope I gave you some great ideas. I'm actually gonna make the okra tonight. Um, I love roasting it. Again, I said onions. In fact, I'm gonna use the shallots, roast some okra and throw it in the oven. You don't get that sliminess to it. Uh, just salt, pepper, a little bit of oil. And at the end, I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it. So you'll see that attached to this video. I hope you have a great night. I hope I inspired you. And uh, I see I inspired my cats to start eating more of a plant-based diet. Um, but uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night. Bye. And here's dinner. Homemade pizza. I made my own dough and sauce and there's cheese and some basil. And as a side, I chopped up the Swiss chard, chopped up some tomatoes and cucumbers from the CSA and used a Greek vinaigrette to top it off. And here's the Greek vinaigrette. Uh, wild tree, it's organic. I really like it. It's tasty, has that nice Greek flavor. Yum.